hello friends welcome back to my channel again and uh, let today we will continue with our fourth uh, video series of kubernetes deployment uh, using jenkins via ci cd pipelines so if you have gone through our previous lecture uh, where we stand now like we have installed and configured all the server like we need ec2 three ec2 instances uh, for Ansible, Jenkins, along with the Kubernetes cluster, because we are using mini kube cluster, right? So, so that is all done. After that, we have configured all the VM. Along with that, uh, we have seen like how we can uh, create a commit-based job, like developer is commit committing the code, and if he until he commits the code, the new uh, and the GitHub repo is getting the new code. The Jenkins job is automatically getting triggered. So there we learned the webhook concept. So we, there is no any manual intervention. Jenkins job is getting triggered automatically that we have seen in the last lecture. And uh, in today's session, we will continue with the fourth video. And today we will see like how we can send our Docker file to the Ansible using SSH agent. Along with that, uh, uh, we will build the docker images on the ansible server itself right so as you can see in the figure so this jenkins will do what just jenkins will send the docker file to the ansible here okay once the ansible will get the docker file it will build the image correct so this is our today's task so let's just go ahead and let's just do that do this along with that uh, you have to configure ssh okay between this jenkins and this ansible server right so make sure you are establishing the ssh connection means password let passwordless authentication you have to set up so if you don't know how to set up please go and watch my one of the pre one of the previous video you will have a uh, great understanding of that so let's just go to the to the today's session and so let's just go to the pipeline here and git checkout has been done in the last session we have seen that let's go to the configure okay so this is the configure and today we will write like a one more stage right what was that like we were sending the files docker file from jenkins to the uh, ansible server right once the jenkins uh, ansible server will get the docker file it will start building the image uh, based upon the docker file so let's rename this correct and once you have uh, renamed the stage you just have to write this uh, syntax right so for that you have to uh, generate the syntax so just let's go ahead and let's click on pipeline syntax here okay so once you are here you just have to do what you just have to search for ssh okay ssh agent here you can see this is our ssh agent okay so once you have got that so you have to add this right go to the credential and here you have to provide uh, choose the option like you ssh username with password key here you will mention the username of the ansible along with that you will enter directly the uh, password of that so you can see like how we can do like let's let me do ansible demo this is the name right and copy this name and give it in the description itself okay so what was the username of the server you are going to use that is ubuntu correct along with that what you have to do click on add and here you have to provide the secret so let me go ahead and let me paste that so once you will copy your RSA private key just go back to the Jenkins dashboard here and you have to paste this right once you will do it just click on add and you can also add the paraphrase if you do have okay but in my case I do not have so you just have to select this okay once you will get this just click okay so this is our SSH agent so with using this okay with the use of this only we can 
get onto the our ansible server right so make sure you have upset ssh agent okay so i am telling this again and again because this without this you will not be able to do that right okay so username and uh, private key has been given here right so now our task is to write the command here so that uh, so if you don't know how to write the command just go back again just click on that and see here you will get an option right just copy that also just come back here just paste this okay so make sure that it is uh, set to no right strict host key checking once this is done just mm, okay so what was the username you have set this was the username i have set along with the ip so what was the ip of the ansible server so this is the private ip right ssh connection we have established for more secure connection okay so once i gave this this is done right so in the next step what you have to do you just have to copy the same once this is done okay so it is done right so now here you have to write once you have done the ssh you will go to the uh, ansible server now in the so this will help you to establish a connection right not you will you will not go to the ansible server so once you will do that you have to copy this right so using scp you will do that so where is the file right just go back to the jenkins server where is the jenkins server this is our jenkins server it is an active let me activate this okay so where are from where we want to copy the files that we have to mention here okay so that is cd slash var slash life slash jenkins slash workspace hit enter you can get this uh, pipeline name right the same name we have set again go inside this okay just take the present working directory of that okay just copy this just go back here and here you have to paste this inside this you will have a what everything whatever do you have just copy that and you have to paste it to the ansible server so okay so this is the ansible server and here where do you want to pass this value so i just want to pass this to slash home slash ubuntu great so once you have done SCP command will pick up all the file present inside this pipeline demo directory and it will start copying it to the this ansible server this location so once this is done let's just go ahead and just save it and let's just apply and let's see if it, it is getting successful okay just click on that okay something syntax issue with it i think okay i think it's successful now just click on that okay hmm. so it, our job is succeed right let's just go ahead and let's just verify either this is correct or not okay so this is our ubuntu server right so here only right this is the location we have provided in the code right slash home slash ubuntu correct so just go ahead and let's just hit enter okay let me just duplicate the session okay i have logged in just be a super user okay and this is the place right where your file should come docker file okay so you got this right along with that this is a this is not the file we have copied this is the extra file i think i have kept early in that server so no need to worry so this is your docker file if you want to see again let's just go ahead and let's just uh, remove this docker file right okay so docker file is not there just go back and rerun the pipeline so basically you can see here right the only docker file we have okay so it is trying to send okay so this is done don't know why this is happening okay if it is succeed then just click on that it is succeed right just go back to our ansible server and just do ls okay so you got this right 
in the next session we will see using the sensible file sorry docker file we will build the image right and we will tag the image right okay if you are really getting uh, benefited from this video please do like and consider subscribing if you want to get uh, more such videos like this so this your simple likes uh, uh, help me to motivate myself to do these all things for you thank you guys keep watching